Hello, Forces of the Overlord, and today I will be reviewing another Halo Mega Black set. This will be UNSC Spade Rush. And this set contains a UNSC Spade in a little bit fancier design than the old Spade, and it's a bit more heavily armed as well, and it also includes two Spartans in a new color. So without further ado, I'm going to move on to the Spade so we can all look at it closer. So here is the Spade. I mean, it's a Spade. We've all seen them before. They aren't super interesting vehicles. It's a truck. It's got a kind of a theme with the color going on. It has one of the in more unique Mega Bloks color schemes. It has that interesting shiny light brown with some marbling in it, which looks pretty neat. And it has a camouflage green hood and as well as some other decorative elements. And the spade has newer style wheels than the old ones, which were more spade-ish. This one has warthog style wheels. It does come with a missile pod, which is the first time we've seen this thing in a little while. It's actually made up of two different colors. The stand is the same color as the main body of this thing, and yeah, you can kind of see it there. It has a slightly different color on the actual missile itself. This one is kind of put in a bit of a fancier design. It seems more like a rugged vehicle that you'd expect to see driving around in the countryside, except it looks like it has leather seats. Those seats are done in a leather type finish, which does look kind of strange for such a vehicle. And it does have a steering wheel, but whenever you put the figures in there, it almost seems like they cannot reach the steering wheel as well. There is pretty much no interior design. There is small grating by the bottom of the seats, which is kind of a nice addition. You have an armrest there, which is, it also looks nice, but otherwise there's no paneling or anything to give a bit of extra flair at all. On the front, it actually has kind of a unique concept because these aren't built like the traditional Warthog suspension. It actually uses pegs to keep for a stopping place to keep it from going too far. I mean, this thing doesn't really have suspension. I mean, it can go like that. The back wheels have much more freedom of movement than the front, which don't have hardly any movement at all. The wheels are attached using an interesting piece, which creates these, oh, I, these guards, I guess, to keep debris from hitting tires head on. And it, you just pop these pieces on which is kind of simple. I think the spade here is kind of, it's generic. It's a spade, but this set is a pretty good set if you want to have just a generic vehicle to add. It does contain a missile pod, which is a nice addition, and it does contain some unique pieces in it, which might be good for custom builds. Well, that's all I have for the set, but let's move on to the figures. So here are the figures that come with this set. These figures are just generic Spartans, but they are unique in the fact that they both have interesting color schemes that we have probably never seen before on figures, except maybe the, the security Spartan from Series 7. This one, these figures are done in a school bus yellow type coloration with some small marbling effects added into there, which looks good. They're, they're completely identical except for their helmets and the weapons they carry. Their helmets are interesting. I personally, on the right, you see the operator 
And the operator is always my favorite one. It's just my favorite armor to use. Every time I play Halo Reach at some new place, I always gun for the operator helmet. The sad thing about this one, though, is it doesn't have very good printing there. On the visor, it's kind of a little lopsided, which is unfortunate. The visors on these are both done in a very, very, very deep metallic blue, which looks super cool. The utility, the optic scopes on this one are done in a matte type black. It's not really matte, has some shine to it, but it's done in black. The armor you can see on these has a slight marbling effect to it, which gives it just a bit of enough of dirtying. They, uh, the weapons they have are, they're rare weapons. I mean, yeah, the operator, he has an assault rifle, but it's done in the Halo Reach style, which isn't too common. And the EVA on the left, which is done in Halo Reach style as well, he has a Spartan laser, except it doesn't have any, any paint on it at all. It's just a plain green Spartan laser. So overall, I think this set is a really good set. I mean, it's probably not the set you would want to start out your collection, but it is fun in the building process. It is, it's really generic, it's the third spade that's come out, but if, if you got it just for the figures like I did, it's probably, I mean, I wouldn't say it's worth it just for the figures because they're kind of generic, but these are really good figures, the set's good, it has a little bit of play value, it's a nice way to bulk up the armory of your UNSC forces. But this set is definitely worth it. I would highly recommend it, getting it even just for parts or extra figures. Well, that's all I have for now, but remember to subscribe and like for more Halo Mega Blocks reviews.